I'm just messing about. I want Hello everybody and welcome whoever, wherever and whenever you are to a brand new video where I am going to be showing you some tips and tricks to succeed in Batman Arkham Knight. Here we go with the first tip. Okay, so tip number one is to do with the Batmobile. One thing that people do seem to be having a little trouble with is driving the car. People seem to crash into things a lot. Where what I've learned to do is not use the brakes at all. All I've done is use this power slide button to get me around the corner like so. You do that by holding square on the PlayStation or X on the Xbox 360. And um, yeah, it just means that you can get around the corners a lot easier without having to come off the accelerator at all. Okay, so tip number two is to do with ejecting from the Batmobile. Now you can upgrade how high you eject from the car, but it's not common knowledge that you need to hold the button longer to eject higher. So let me give you an example. So I'm driving along the car here. I want to get out, I double tap X and out I go. Now if I want to eject higher, let's just get back in the car. The longer I hold X down, if you look at the top, I've been holding it for ages, I've let go, I've tapped it again and I've gotten an even higher boost. Now, if you find yourself in a street fight and you're starting to struggle a little bit, one thing that you can always depend on is your best friend and ally. All you do is press the L1 button or LB, and guess who comes along to help? Batmobile and then all you do is drive over the guys and it will not kill them but electrocute them so if you find that your power's low or you can't be bothered or you're a bit overcome just don't forget that the Batmobile is there to help that will come along take out the guys and you'll be safe okay here we go with another tip one thing that can be quite frustrating for some people are the collectibles. So collecting the riddle of trophies and doing all of the scans, etc. can be a bit of a chew. So one of the things that uh, Riddler requires you to do is to glide through a breakable wall so that you can collect the trophy. Now some people struggle with this, they, um, they, they go either side or they just can't do it. So one thing I have learned is to pick the back law, like so. Aim at the wall, and while aiming, on PlayStation, press square, on the Xbox, press X, and Batman will quick fire the explosive gel at the wall. The wall then breaks, and then you can grapple up to collect the trophy. Okay, one thing a lot of people don't really know is that while you're in the Batmobile, you can change your view. If you press down on the D-pad, you can go first person, or you know front of the car and um, press it again and it goes quite close to the back of the car and then again even further back and lastly Batman Arkham Knight is not a button mashing game when it comes to combat what you need to be making sure is that you're pointing the stick in the direction of the thug and that you only press square once not lots of times pressing it once will give you a critical strike therefore making sure you get more XP meaning you can upgrade your weapons quicker and that's it from me thank you very much for watching I hope you found something useful leave a comment and let me know thanks a lot see you soon